Hey, what up? It's Ty1822. Here to do my WWE Survivor Series prediction. So I'm going to start off with the Divas match. The champion E. Torres versus the challenger Caitlyn. Now, WWE gave these girls a storyline. It's rare when WWE gives these Divas a storyline. It's been going on for about two to three months. The good thing about this match, I could look at E. Torres and say, God damn, E. Torres is one fine chick. Kayla is a cool girl. You know, her range skill is okay. It should be an okay Divas match. I got E. Torres retaining her Divas title. The United States Championship match, R-Truth versus Antonio Zanzaro. This should be a very good match right here. Both guys are good workers. Um, I got Antonio Zanzaro retaining his United States Championship. But WWE, big mistake on splitting up Oksana and Antonio Zanzaro. You know, to me, very good parent. He need a mouthpiece. Good as he is. My skills, okay. But, you know, um, Oksana, good fit for Antonio Zanzaro. I thought WWE was going to do something like, you know, when she, you know, when she like, you know, try, you know, to, you know, go back with him, apologize, you know, for make him lose against Tina Morella a couple months ago, but WWE decided to keep them split. It was a big mistake to me. Team Foley versus Team Ziggler. Now, this match meant something. Just the Survivor Series 5 or 5 match meant something at first because it was, you know, Team Punk, Team Foley. You had Ryback on Team Foley. You know, you had Sam Punk and, you know, Mick Foley, you know, cutting great promos, you know, on each other. You know, and then they had a story behind it because you could say, like, okay, Mick Foley, you know, going to call Sam Punk this match, you know, when Rob back to feast him in that match. But now when it's Team Foley versus Team Ziggler, it don't mean anything. So what's the reason to call it Team Foley? They might as well have made it like, you know, Team Miz or Team Bryant or Team Kane, Team Orton, you know, something like that. But Team Foley is Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, the Miz. Daniel Bryan and Ken Ziggler himself. That's the team, Ziggler. Daniels. I said Daniels. <laughs> uh, Daniels. What the fuck I'm talking about? Alberto Del Rio. Damn y'all send out Wade Barrett. Now, Cody Rhodes was supposed to be on this team on WWE main event. Cody Rhodes suffered a separated shoulder and a concussion. So, WWE replaced them with Tensa. Really, WWE? This shows you how bad this, the WWE roster is. Tensa, really? It, 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 is, it ain't nobody better out there than Tensa to replace Cody Rhodes. I'll be happy if WWE got a bump off the streets to replace Cody Rhodes over Tensa. This guy's garbage, man. His gimmick is trash. Why the hell WWE had it to test side? God damn. They could have got a guy with the session stands, the janitor, somebody to replace test side. I'll be happy with that right there, man. The, the cashier? Come on, WWE. Test side, but the match should be real good. I got Team Foley getting the victory. For the world heavyweight title. The champion of Big Show versus Sheamus. Now, last time, these guys had the match of the night. Sheamus, Big Show, match of the night. I couldn't believe how good this match was. It should be a physical match, a stiff match, because they are big guys. They can take that pounding. I got the Big Show retaining his World Heavyweight Championship. The WWE title match, triple threat, CL Punk versus Ryback versus John Cena. Now, this match right here, I mean, the outcome, it ain't going to really be hard to predict the outcome. It will be a good match. I got CM Punk winning, but I don't know how CM Punk will win. You know, I doubt it'd be a DQ. You know, you don't want to do a DQ in a triple threat match. And the thing about it is that there's no way in hell Punk will beat Ryback two straight, two straight months. Or unless soon they're going to take the pin. And try to make Rob Beck look strong. I don't see Punk losing because the Rock is coming back at the Royal Rumble. And it looks like, you know, the plan is the Rock versus, you know, CM Punk for the WWE title. 
and there's no way in hell Rob Beck will win the title because, of course, it ain't going to be no Rock versus Rob Beck or unless WWE going to go with the Rock versus Cena at Royal Rumble for the WWE title. But like I said, I got Punk retaining his title, but I don't know how the outcome will be. The best thing for this match that, that happened is John Cena got to take the pin because Rob Beck got to look strong in this match. So WWE Survivor Series this Sunday on pay-per-view, it should be a solid pay-per-view. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.